day for your, maybe tomorrow is the first <laughs> practice, but I guess just kind of talk about that sense of finally getting a chance to, uh, to get things started. Yeah, you wait a long time, you know, and, and you, you work whatever, eight months to, to get to this point, you know, and, and, uh, and we're excited. I mean, the guys are rolling in right now, and, um, you know, we, we actually get to get, get to work tomorrow, you know, but seeing their faces, we, they've been around us all summer, they've been working all summer, they've had a phenomenal summer, uh, but they've been gone for five days. You know, and the coaches have, have been on vacation, so so really, for some of these guys, we haven't seen them in, in quite a bit. So uh, and when you're when you're as tight as we are as a group, you know, it's just it's fun. It's fun to see everybody again. You know, and so it's uh, it's an exciting day for us. Uh, you know, each team has a different identity, strengths, weaknesses. What are you excited about for this team? Uh, I would talk about our, our maturity. I mean, the amount of guys that have played college football, a lot of it. Uh, it's a unique team. It's hard to get. It takes time to have experience and a little bit of wisdom out there, you know, and uh, so we have 20, I think it's 21, 22 seniors this year, and uh, and it's affected our whole offseason. We've had a great spring. We had a great summer. We have a bunch of grown grown men out there, you know, and, and great leaders, and, and it's way different than our last two teams that way as far as the, uh, the, the sheer amount of veterans we have on our team, and, uh, but there's still, there's still some question marks. You know, that's the fun part of camp, you know, when you feel pretty solid about, uh, you know, Pretty much every part of your team, we feel pretty solid about, you know. And uh, but you always know that there's going to be someone that comes in and makes it better. You know, you never know where it's going to be, uh, but someone's going to come along and surprise us. That's the exciting part. If you're if you're happy with where you're starting, uh, then you you know you're only going to get better from here. Uh, your offense led obviously by John, and I guess just talk about that. Uh, you know, when healthy, he's been fantastic. Yeah, we got to keep yeah. him healthy. There's no secret. You know, uh, you know, two years ago, you know, real life hit. Uh, last year was kind of a freakish one, and, and he's done a great job getting back. Probably could have gone in the spring more. I let him go about 75% in the spring just to be, take care of him, but uh, had a great summer, full full speed ahead. Uh, I'm going to hit a couple of these things with you guys quickly, just so you know. Uh, if you probably know about Mitch Heinbach, one of our tight ends. He got hurt in the spring, so he'll be, he'll be out. Anthony Torres in the summertime hurt his knee. He'll be out. Uh, Tommy O'Mara, that's a spring injury. He, should, he probably won't play at all this year. Uh, Ken Aguirre got hurt this summer. He'll be back in about six to eight weeks, you know. So, uh, and then one more guy, Devin Bass, one of our new running backs. He had a, an injury that we're, we're probably going to do surgery on. So he probably you won't see those names around for a little bit. We're going to get him healthy and get him back. But, uh, but yeah, I mean the group, the group led by John is is a special group, you know. And, and we got a lot of veteran no linemen, which is really the key to everything, you know. And uh, obviously we have two senior running backs, a senior. It's always good to be. Kind of like baseball, it's going to be senior down the middle. You know, when you have a, a senior center, a senior quarterback, and a senior running back, you feel pretty solid. You know, and uh, and we and that's really offensively, that's our seniors. Well, other than Geo, I mean, those are our senior center, quarterback, running back, and tight end. You know, and everyone else returns. Other than John, I, mean, I know you've talked about depth, but injuries are going to happen. Yes, you feel like you finally have enough depth where should one or two guys go down, maybe even more than that, you're not exactly hurt like you have been. I think so, yeah, you know, especially with, you know, our, our, our running back depth, both, both guys are seniors, but we, we've lost more too before, you know. Uh, I think our defensive depth is is unique. I mean, I think we our twos could be just as good as our ones, you know, which is which is exciting. I don't think our depth on offense is as good as it was last year, um, but it's close, you know. I, I def But defensively, where we've, we've struggled, uh, our, our depth is about as good. I mean, there, there's a... There's a strong possibility that we could have 10 senior starters on defense, you know, uh, and still have one as a backup. And so that's uh, that's hard to come by. It's just a unique year that way, and I'm excited for those guys that we're going to obviously I help with the offense, so we're going to go against them every day, which will be a pain, but uh, it'll be fun. Talk a little bit about D. I mean, is it is it official now, full time cornerback and part time offensively? Yeah, I would say that. I mean, he's been he's been this summer probably 60 40 defense, you know. Um, but he's been playing offense on, on certain days. He's still he's working with John, I guess, from what I'm hearing. Uh, but he'll be with us on offense. I mean, he knows our offense. He knows what to do. We're gonna get the ball in his hands. Uh, you know, we'll, I don't know how many snaps a game. It'll also depend on how many snaps he's playing on defense. You know, if we're if we need him a ton on defense, we might play him less on. If we need him a ton on offense, he could play 15, 20 plays on offense. You know, for me, it's to get him his touches. You know, uh, is can I get the ball in his hands? And that's that's our job as offensive coaches. And, what he's done on the defensive side, what he's brought, the physicality he's brought to our defense just in the spring was was a game changer, and everyone felt it, and uh, and that's really the biggest impact he's had. 